Welcome to August 1st. Pretty much August 1st anywhere in the world. I think North Korea, they have their own months and days. It's all different there. You'll figure that. What irritates me that I've noticed just only in the last two years is all this heat advisory stuff. They're not showing you the real true temperatures anymore. They're showing you that heat index, what it feels like, temperature. I've got this Alexa show, which is basically, I, 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 ain't, say it again? I ain't talking to you. Sorry, I thought I heard my name. You did, but I ain't talking to you. Go to sleep. You know that's from this period because I said her name and it's a dude. Maybe I got one of them non-binary ones. But it's a screen. And it gives you the latest updates. It flashes across the screen. It's got, it's got the weather. Let me show you. Oh, come on out of there. Can you see it? Well, give me a second. The cord's caught. See what it does? And it just flips through. And you can set it to give you notifications for whatever you want. It's actually pretty cool. It has excellent sound. Real fill. There it is. Real fill. You know what we used to call that? Summer. It's hot. You don't need to get on Facebook and post the real fill. And, oh, look at this, like it's a world-breaking record. It's not. It's summertime. It gets around 100 in July, August, and probably two weeks of September. Put this thing down. Listen, man. Just because I said your name. Hey, Alexa. Who's the coolest person you know? Hmm. I don't know that one. In, yeah, you used to. Somebody programmed them wrong. That's all I can tell you. Yeah, and then the famous, infamous pictures on Facebook where now everybody has, you know, the screen in their car with the temperature on it. Let me tell you something, those are never right. They're close. But when you first get in your vehicle and start it up and it's 100 degrees out, that thing's going to tell you it's 140. And you got these people, as soon as they start their car, posting it on Facebook. Look at what you do. It's hot. It's like a contest. Everybody wants to post the hottest or coldest temperature. Do they know I don't give a crap? I don't. Because I got my little thermometers here. I know what it is. I don't care what your temperature is in your house. I mean, I don't care what your temperature is. Because I'm dealing with my own temperature. Okay? I don't need to worry about your temperature. I'm, 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 I'm trying to contend with what God gave me in my own little space. Right now, it's 70 degrees outside. 75 in here 71 in the dog apartment and in the screen patio it's 72 so I know it all and that's real feel actual temperature real feel I'll tell you what man these things have ruined society these things alone I was on Facebook this morning. I wake up. I go through all the stuff and look at things. And there's a post. You don't get news out where I live. You just, Facebook is it. If you want to know what's going on, you're relying on somebody that might know something is going to make a post. Well, this person, young person, probably 20. Could be 30. I don't know. Anybody know where there's any jobs? 
Well, you know I had to comment. Yes, I did. So I get on my keyboard and I'm typing. I'm like, put your best clothes on. Get in your vehicle, if you own one. Probably doesn't. And go to every company you can. And then fill out an application. Because that's what I did. They won't do that. They will not do that today. Everything has to be handed to them. And it has to be easy. Because if it ain't easy, they can't, they can't handle it. But that, I see that on there all the time. And it's always the same answers. Because there's nothing here other than Tyson and a few other places. And those are the answers every time. And I got on, now why, after I told them that, you know, I'm sitting there seeing if anybody replied. Nobody's up this time in the morning, so I'll check back later. But they're going to answer, if probably not answer at all, but if they do, it's like, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know, man. Uh, I'm just glad I'm the age I am, because I only got so many years left. That I got to deal with stupidity. Now that's just it. Oh, speaking of stupidity. I learned something new the minute I woke up this morning. Did you know? On a microwave, you've got the keypad, one through nine. You, you know that, the little square, like on a phone. Like you're going to dial a number, but it's on the microwave. So I usually pour my water in the cup. So what you do if you want to heat it up, put it in the microwave for three minutes, and it gets it hot, too hot. Now I gotta let it sit a while before I can take a sip. Did you know, on that keypad, if you just press one, two, or three just once, it automatically takes off running. Well, I knew that. I've known that for years, but I didn't know this. If you hit two or whatever number, you hit two, and it already starts taking off. And then, take the same finger, and you go down there and hit start. It adds 30 seconds every time you hit it. I know. Please tell me, some of you did not know that. Probably if I, when I get these items, if I read that book that comes with them, they might say in there that you could do that, but I didn't know. I, I, I found out by accident. I did. But that's a handy feature. Because sometimes three minutes is too much. Two and a half is just right. It's like my phone. There's it, It's a mess. I've got... Let me see if I can... You got a bunch of numbers in there, everything. I hate this phone. I got this, and then I got like four, four things here, okay? And then there's some. This page isn't full. How the hell did I get them all? Look at this. And then this. Why? Why are they on four pages? Why can't they be on what? I'm sure there's a way to do it. I've had phones where I, I ain't never seen this. I can't fit. You used to be able to hold them. Let me see. Well, I can still move them. Well, how you, how you fling them off on the other page, man? That is the worst phone I've ever. This is a Sam. Is this a Samsung Galaxy? Yeah, something or other. Yeah, I hate this phone. This phone. I just hate that phone. But I ain't going to go buy one. Because it works. There's nothing wrong with it. I just hate it. You know, up until about... When did I get Starlink? Two years ago? I couldn't even sit in my house and talk on the phone because you couldn't get a signal. I would have to go out to the road, way out there, just to pick up a signal. Now it's connected through Wi-Fi, so it's a lot nicer, a lot nicer. 
Uh, but man, get me back rotary dial phone. No, nobody wants that back. You got a busy signal on them things. You had to do it all over. I don't think they, I, I couldn't even tell you if they got busy signals still. I don't think I've encountered that in years. I don't, I don't think a young person would know what a busy signal is. But actually, the younger people don't make too many phone calls. They text everything. And I hate texting. I hate it. I hate messaging. So I, I, I gave my Facebook thing the other day, and people are getting on there, and they're sending me messages. Well, I don't have that on my phone. I, got, I don't have it on purpose. I turned it off on there because everybody gets on there and they want to send me a message. And I'm sitting there trying to edit a video, which I don't mind, but I don't like doing, I don't like texting. I don't like doing any of that. Texting is last resort for me. I hate it. And it's not that it's hard. It's just, I'd rather have somebody call me. Tell me whatever the story was, because texting, you're going through all that and it takes forever. Just call me. Hey, man, we're having lunch tomorrow. Such and such time, such and such place. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, man, that's easy. And and, and and that always happens when I'm driving. And I don't even pick that thing up when I'm driving. There's no way. I am no good at that. It's against the law anyway, but I cannot do it. Um, I'm a one-finger texture. I don't do the thumbs like they do. I don't know how they do that. My thumbs are too big, man. I go to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spell a cuss word with one tap because I'm going to hit a bunch of letters at the same time. Because my hands, you know, my thumbs are big because they worked hard all their life. Manual labor jobs. You know, this generation's fingers are little delicate, little pencil tips. So they can do that. I can't do that. My fingers are smashed from grabbing stuff and beating on stuff, tearing gears apart. Smash fingers, even though I got carpal tunnel. Do you know what? That has not bothered me since I started eating only meat. I had problems with my hands severely. I have severe carpal tunnel. And I have not had any issues. So hopefully that's why. Because it's stuff like that just don't go away. I don't know. Or I just don't feel pain anymore. I, I don't know what it is. Well, just a short one today, guys. I got to go. I got somebody. The mechanic is bringing my truck. My other truck. And then I got to run him back to town. So... He opens up uh, 7.30, so I imagine he'll be around, he'll be along pretty soon. So I've got to do that, finally get my truck back, that's nice. Uh, it was, he had to tear into it. Well, the problem was with it, when you went to put, it's a, it's a standard shift transmission. So you'd be driving it, and it started gradually doing this over time. You would have to pump the clutch a lot before you could get it into another gear. It just wasn't engaging. Well, come to find out, he pulled the slave cylinder, and there's a pin. Okay, there's there's like a little flat plate in there, and then the slave, and, the, and there's a pin that pushes in that mechanism in, which allows the clutch to, allows you to change gears for the clutch to engage. Well, in that little mechanism that's in there, there's a hole. Where this pin, it goes to a point, and then it catches on that pin and pushes it in. And then when you let off the pedal, the pin retracts. But part of the pin, I think, stays in that hole. Well, it would have to. Well, over time, the hole in this plate wore out bigger. It bored out larger. It's hard to explain. It's like... If you have a nail, and then the nail got thicker about halfway through, that's how that pin is. So what he did, and he was pulling it out and explaining to me, and I understood totally because I've seen all that, but 
he took a nut and welded it on there because otherwise we would have to tear that apart it was looking like six seven hundred dollars and so we did that i guess it works fine which i don't see why it wouldn't i've had that truck 10 years i'm not gonna sink a ton of money in. i've already got a thousand in it uh, for the repair and the starter went out so i had to put a new starter in it but it's good now truck runs perfect it ain't the best looking truck. It's an eyesore. It's got chip paint, you know, but it, it runs good. It's a 92 model, it's a Silverado. And I've had it 10 years, and it has never let me down, never. So I will have that back today. That's good. Thanks for watching. And uh, how many of y'all did I get with the tow truck uh, store yesterday? Hmm. I figured y'all was ready that I could get you. Because I was telling y'all true stories before that. Remember, I got y'all on April Fool's too. I did. Everybody bought into that. I'll get you again, but it'll be a while. You know, people forget over time. But I don't. Happy trails.